Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know the number of magnetic field lines crossing per unit area is referred as magnetic flux. In this video, I will show you how to get the dimensional formula of magnetic flux. For that, I consider a magnetic field, a uniform magnetic field. We know a magnetic field in which the magnetic field lines are parallel is referred as uniform magnetic field. Here we have one such uniform magnetic field in which the arrow mark represents the direction of a magnetic field. Not be letter B vector. Now I take a surface here of area Y zero is E. Okay. So the number of magnetic field lines crossing through this area is referred as magnetic flux. In this case, 1, 2 and 3. 3 magnetic field lines are crossing through this. So, magnetic flux, which is represented letter 5B, is okay but 3 Weber. Here Weber is the unit of magnetic flux. Remember this. The next step, how do we represent the magnetic flux? Magnetic flux is represented as the dot product of B vector and the A vector. Here B is the magnetic field. What is A? A stands for area and A vector is the area vector. And how to get that? This area vector can be obtained if we draw a normal to this surface. This is a normal line. Normal means a perpendicular line. This normal, which is the perpendicular line, actually provides a area vector, A vector. Okay, the next step. We know when the two vectors are in dot product, then it can be represented as a B cos theta. In our case, we have B vector dot A vector. So it can be written as B A cos theta. Hmm. By following this method. So 5B is equal to B A cos theta. Now here theta is the angle between magnetic field and area vector. Clear? This is the angle between magnetic field and area vector. So from the diagram, the angle is nothing but 0. So cos of a theta is equal to cos of 0, which is nothing but 1. If I substitute that one here, what do we get? We get this. 5b is equal to b a. Cos of theta is 1. Multiply with that. So we obtain 5b equals to b into a. So oh, this I write within the box. Okay. Now from this expression, I am going to get the alternate unit and as well the dimensional formula of magnetic flux. Okay. Here we know A is area. Area is nothing but the product of length and the breadth. Okay, that's the formula of area. What is the magnetic field? We must know that. Okay. For that, I use uh, the expression for force acting on a current carrying conductor. Force uh, acting on a current carrying conductor. Placed in 
a uniform magnetic field. Okay. What is that? Ekera. I take a magnetic field, a uniform magnetic field. This is uniform magnetic field, and in that we can a conductor is placed. This is the conductor which carries the current I. The current I is flowing through this, and the length of this conductor is a n, and uh, this one. Is uniform magnetic field. Now, whose direction is given by this arrow mark? This is a delta magnetic field. Then, this conductor whose length is L and uh, through which current is flowing is referred as current carrying conductor. It is known as uh, current element. The parameter I L vector. Okay. Now, if it is so, the angle. Now, suppose uh, current is uh, flowing through this conductor in this direction. Then, from the diagram, magnetic field is acting in this direction, and the current is flowing. Uh, the conductor is placed in this way. So, the angle between these two is nothing but. 90 degree. What is the angle? Angle is a 90 degree here. Okay. Just remember this. Then B is a I'm sorry, is a force. The fo uh, this uh, current carrying conductor experiences a force as it is placed in magnetic field. So the expression for force is F. I take F vector is equal to IL vector cross B vector. Here we have cross product. Okay. So, yes. Over here, as you expanded this expression for dot product in a similar way, if we have cross product of two vectors, we have A vector plus B vector, and this can be written as AB. Sin theta. In our case, we have I L beta cross B beta. This can be written as I L B sin theta. Well, in our case, what is the value of per theta? Theta is taken as a 90 degree. Theta is taken as a 90 degree. So, sin of theta is something but sin of 90, which is equal to 1. So, if you subtract that value here, what do you get? Okay. Here, the vector is equal to I L vector cross B vector. This can be written as I L B sin theta. Clear? So it is nothing but I L B sin of 90. The sin of 90 is 1. So the value obtained is this. So, IL B multiplied by 1. So, what do we get? F is equal to IL B. So, we have obtained the, the expression for force. Okay. But my aim is to get the, the expression for B. This is for what I have taken this. So, that can be obtained by cross multiplication. I keep a B this side and the remainder is taken this side. F upon the IL equal to B. Mm. So this gives a B expression for B, which is the magnetic field. Got it? Now I am going to substitute the expression for B under the expression for A in this equation. Then what is the area? The area A is a the product length and the breadth. Length and breadth is 
ये एरिया में ठीक है सो शुड यू ऑल दिस थिंग्स क्लियर इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन नाउ यूनिट एंड डायमेंशन अल्फा फाइव बी सो दैट आई टेक इट दिस फाइव इज गोट बी ए there a substitute the value of b no from here therefore upon il then a is del into b clear then this will get cancelled here l and here will get cancelled so what do you get is nothing but this therefore multiplied with b divided by i This is the alternate expression of a b, five b. I'm sorry. <coughs> Now here, f is the vector force and b is the breadth. Force is measured in newton, b is the measured in meter, and here i stands for current, which is measured in ampere. Now. For a better understanding, now I explain you what is the force. Force is explained by Newton's second law. According to that, force is the product of mass and acceleration. Now, what is this acceleration? Acceleration is velocity divided by time and the velocity is displacement divided by time rate of change of displacement clear if i use this one here the above expression what do i get i get this you see yeah this is also yeah the plus of a i write the v upon t then the plus of v i write yes upon the t divided by t then the expression of a force obtained is nothing but this m yes upon t is written this manner then this part is written as one upon the t so what we get is this m yes sir Upon t square. Here m is mass, s is the displacement, and t is the time. Okay. So this I'm going to use here. So now I get i b will become equal to the plus of y. Right? M s upon t square. Then B is kept as such. I is written as such. Then this is the written this manner. Then I suppose that this square. B upon I. Okay. Then M S B upon I T square. This is what we obtained as the new expression for phi B. Now, what is the limit of phi B from this expression? Let me show that to you. Yeah, unit of phi b. See, for mass we have kilogram. For displacement we have meter. For breadth also we have meter. So meter square. For current we have ampere. Then for time we have second, second square. This is the 
the alternate unit of a magnetic flux. I box this one. Now I will get at the dimension. Dimension of Phi B. How to get that over here carefully? For mass, the dimension is M. For displacement, the dimension is M. For breadth, the dimension is again M. It is divided by the dimension of current is M. E stands for ampere. And the dimension of T is uh, the dimension of time is a T, which is squared here, so T squared is written. Then what do you get? Yes. L into L is L squared for A T squared. Then when I take a system to numerator, what happened? A M L squared. Here, a power minus 1 and t power minus 1. Now, I rearrange this result as m l square t power minus 2 a power minus 1. So, this is the dimension of phi b. For better visibility, I box this. Here we know when there is no power, that means the power is 1. So the power of m is 1. So the dimension of 5 is m power 1, l power 2, t power minus 2, a power minus 1. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.